Welcome to part 8 of the horror series. In this series we're not going to do anything about the game itself, but we're going to upgrade from Unity 4 to Unity 5. This new version of Unity is way improved and adds a lot of new functions. One disappointment is that the scripts don't always work the way they did before. To help you guys out, I'm going to show you how to upgrade. The pro version of Unity 5 is now for free, so you can grab it from the Unity site. Go to unity3d.com and at the homepage you can see this button over here, Get Unity 5. The personal edition of Unity has most of the basic stuff for free. So download the personal edition version, install it and after you've done that, you can open it up. This is Unity 5's startup screen. You can select recent projects or create a new one or open up another one that's not on this list. We're going to select the open other option. Then we go to our project. Mine is under documents. And then we can find it over here. Horror tutorial part 7. To open it up, just select this folder and then hit select. It says that the project version is not Unity 5. If you click upgrade, Unity will automatically change a lot of the settings that we otherwise need to do manually. So we select upgrade and now Unity does most of the work for us. When we've got a very big project, it may take some time. Here Unity asks us if it should upgrade the scripts and assemblies for us. Because we're a bit lazy and it's way easier, we just select go ahead. It's now changing the script so Unity 5 knows what to do with it. Now that Unity is done, we can see that we got a lot of warnings but no errors, so that's good news. If we take a look at the warnings and scroll up a bit, we can see that it says finished update, finished updating scripts and assemblies. All the warnings are from shaders. This is because Unity 5's shader system is completely different from Unity 4. Let's open up our scene and check if everything works. So we go to scenes, outside and we press play. You can see on the trees that there are bright spots and this is because of the new shaders. I think it has some creepy new effect which we didn't have before but we'll leave it for now. I think it doesn't look that horrible. As far as I can see everything works. I think the tiling of the water is way too big, but we can fix that. Actually, I think those bright spots are pretty nice. Let's just leave them. So everything still works, 
besides the shaders, but they're not the problem. After this video, I'm going to make two extra ones. One will be another scare effect, and the other one will be the level end. The scare effect will take place in the bedroom, and the level end will be in the basement. So when you go around this corner, you will see the level end. You can decide yourself if you want to make another level, or just go immediately for the level end. You can always add as many levels as you want. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next part. Bye guys! If you have any questions, please make sure to go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash imaginary and ask your question. I love interacting with you guys, so please make sure to do. Also, if you have any recommendation of a tutorial I can do, or you just want to say something, you know where you can find me. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again. Bye guys!